Greetings people, just heading out. Decided to record you in cinematic as the car purrs away in the background. The video's about the All Blacks test team pick for Bledis Low number two in Dunedin. And interesting to see the changes that have been made. I'm reading it on uh, this article here, just in case you're interested. Uh, documenting in the headline, uh, Will Jordan at 15, Summer Penny Finau and Sean Stevenson to debut for the All Blacks. And uh, also potential for Dallas McLeod as I look down and read the team list on the bench. So what do you think? I think it's a pretty good team actually, considering what's transpired over uh, the initial three test matches in 2023. Uh, it's interesting considering the All Black Rugby World Cup squad is going to be named uh, 5 p.m. Monday, I believe, um, which would mean at this point uh, most names will be locked in. But it's interesting as we look at this team and, and maybe I'll run through the names. You've got Will Jordan at fullback, well, we obviously know he's there. Shawnee Stevenson, good to see him get a test debut. Uh, starting lineup, will he be there? You'd think at this stage it's probably going to be quite difficult for him to be a part of the, the squad considering the mix and the limited numbers. And then Brado, Braden Enor and Anton Leonard Brown in the midfield, you'd think ALB is going to be there. But Braden Enor, well, he's probably strengthened his case actually. I, I don't didn't think that he was um, going to be near or, or pushing for a spot maybe earlier on, but he's whether it was with the Crusaders and then in international rugby, he's really uh, made the most of his time. So he's probably, the question is, with Leicester Whanganuku on uh, the left wing, will he be one, uh, I think he'll be going, will he be viewed as someone who can cover that 13 and wing position, therefore, in a, in a squad type scenario, therefore someone like Braden Neno, who's more maybe more limited, misses out. D Mac McKenzie, Dan McKenzie at the pivot, well, he's gonna be there in the World Cup squad, isn't he? Um, 10 or 15. and and covers there. Uh, halfback, Finlay Christie. Now, he's one where I'm thinking, hmm, start getting the start. Aaron Smith's on the bench. Is is he playing for a World Cup squad uh, spot? Uh, I'm still Wee Weber, Brad Weber. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if Brad Weber makes it into the into the Rugby World Cup squad, taking three halfbacks. You do wonder um, whether or not that uh, Finlay Christie could be it could be a question marks about whether or not he's uh, going to be there. He probably um, has been number two halfback. However, um, yeah, I, I do wonder if if he could be pressing. Artie Severe eight, moving on. Obviously going to be there. Sam Kane, Captain Seven, he's going to be there. Seven Penny Finau. Now, he's one that I... I wouldn't be surprised if someone like Ethan Blackadder comes in. It's going to be fascinating as we consider all these spots, what the recent flow and the guys involved have been fit, how that's going to impact, whether or not they want to bring guys in who may have been more favoured when the season started, but haven't played because they've been injured, and therefore, um, you know, the potential for the vibe and, and the culture that's been created recently. Obviously, Sammy Pinefino has had a really good Super Rugby season, however, rookie, and... Someone like Ethan Blackadder, who I would think that could be pressing for it uh, in that loose forward spot. Uh, maybe more of a composite. He can cover all three positions, whereas Sam Penefina, probably more of a six. Maybe maybe even you can tight lock, maybe. Um, however, given the lack of experience, is this just a test to say, okay, your future is here. Um, you know, this is what you can look forward to into the future. The locks, um, Brody and, and Sam, last test match, in New Zealand uh, for the men. So a good way to honor them. Front row, Nipala Lala, who has really stood out. For me, Nipala has been one of the, the one of the players who's really risen, uh, really concerns about, um, yeah, his all-round play, really scrummaging, but also around in the loose and the ability to be able to carry over the average line. He's been really aggressive. And when he first came in, I, I was really impressed with him uh, and how he seemed to have that eye of the tiger for the for the front row and, and the tight head. Uh, Sammy Sonny Takeaho, hook it. And uh, Almighty to Mighty Williams starting at loose head. Again, Singh, I think that he's in uh, the World Cup squad given uh, uh, this ascension here. I think that with, I've had in my own squad, uh, 
he and Fletcher Newell to come off the bench um, as like an All Blacks detonation squad. Guys who are a bit younger and a bit, maybe even a bit more athletic um, and mobile, but who are really strong and maybe to come and finish off. So that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, the reserve, Dane Coles, off of Tonga Fasi, Fletcher Newell, so good to see him after the injuries that have blighted him or blighted his recent uh, time uh, on the field. Uh, Tupu Vai, Vai um, yeah, should be there, I would say. Uh, Luke Jacobson, another one that should be there. Aaron Smith, well, he'll get some game time at home. Super Rugby home and last test match. Richie Moanga, well, we know he's going to be there. And Dallas McLeod is the last number 23 in the All Blacks for... Uh, Saturday afternoon's test match versus the Wallabies. Now he's another interesting one. I mean, I don't think I don't think you can take Braden Enor and Dallas McLeod if you're going to take either of them. So that will be interesting to see. Is this again a little bit like Sammy Penny Finau? Is it something for the future? So there are the names, the 23 that'll be named for the Wallabies, um, and the Wallabies off the top of my head had quite a bit, of, quite a, a number of similarities. Now again, that's a bit vague in my memory ago. I only looked at it very, very quickly. But it will be fascinating to see. Um, given the Rugby World Cup squad is, is days away, given that there are a number there who won't be sure of their spot, um, and also the sig significance for uh, a number of All Blacks who are playing their last Test match in New Zealand, uh, there should be plenty of motivation for the All Blacks to finish strong and to look forward to what's going to happen in France and the potential that could be um, a real high point after uh, a period of All Blacks rugby that has been very, very moderate. So, what do you think of the squad? The the 23 for the Wallabies. Um, any thoughts about what it means for the Rugby World Cup squad? Uh, any names that you're particularly looking forward to? A reminder, all things being equal, we'll be doing um, a live commentary feed uh, that we'll probably record and put on to the YouTube channel after the fact because otherwise it's private at this stage and means you can't watch it after the fact. In the same way, uh, a reminder to connect with us on, on Twitter or on X or whatever term is used to describe it now, at I am Johnny King, and the encouragement to subscribe because the goal is to continue and to build and the more that subscribe, the more that this platform drives, uh, the more opportunity that potentially will be for connections and for having me, even other individuals on this platform to communicate and to offer insight. So, you know, while that can feel like a, a bit of a deal to subscribe to something, then I'd like to think there are a really good upsides, not only um, in what's already been provided and what will be provided, but potentially what can be provided as we gain more, st as we gain more steam. Anyway, I'm off to um, go and do something else. So it's been almost eight minutes. So on that note, I will um, catch up with you uh, probably tomorrow on another video. I've got another video there and uh, a preview for the for the weekend's test match as well, which this has probably provided a little bit of that preview, but that'll be more diverse and, and with maybe some other talking points. But thank you for watching.